If your New Year's resolution has been to increase your own power to weight ratio, then we have good news. We've teamed up with YouTube's number one fitness channel, Six Pack Shortcuts, to give all citizens an exclusive free gift. When you try out Six Pack Shortcuts, you'll be given a free supplement bottle of leptin shred that will help you get ripped abs by taking control of your body's most powerful fat burning hormone. With this, you'll be burning fat for 48 hours even after your workout is over, meaning you'll lose weight even while you're driving. Click the link above or go to getabstoday.com right now for the offer. Look Let's do this! Five modding mistakes owners make on their daily driven pickup trucks. Pickup truck culture in the United States is stronger than ever. That's because pickup trucks are no longer the bare bones work vehicles they used to be. Today, they're modern all-in-one family machines capable of transporting six adults in luxury while also carrying 3,000 pounds of cargo. They're big, powerful, and the people who drive them do so with crazy amounts of pride. But there are some owners who are intent on ruining their trucks with terrible mods. If you don't want to be that guy, then avoid doing these things at all costs. Huge lifts. Once upon a time, lifting a truck way up to go mud bogging was a fun thing to do. And it still is, on cheap trucks that aren't used every day. Is anybody installing $10,000 worth of lift and suspension kits onto a $40,000 daily driver then actually driving through the mud? Hell no. Instead, they're taking a massively expensive truck, raising the center of gravity dangerously high, inflicting all kinds of stress to driveline components, and adding a significant amount of horsepower robbing weight. Big wheels. Big heavy wheels suck horsepower like a parasite, but at least with cars, people can opt for a low profile tire to maintain some measure of on-road performance. Truck owners, however, must stick with a fairly prominent tire to support the truck's fairly prolific mass, and that usually leads to a no-win situation. Here's why. Big wheels on trucks need tires that are too low profile to be useful off-road, yet too high profile to provide any legitimate on-road benefits for a three-ton vehicle. Aggressive off-road tires. For folks who often find themselves on dirt roads, trails, or just open countryside, a good off-road tire is vital for traction. Notice I said good off-road tire, not a massive cleated rubber monster that could claw the face off a stone statue. Aside from the scary high center of gravity, knobbly tires are ridiculously noisy on pavement, and unlike a good exhaust system, tire whine will never ever sound good. Aside from that, such aggressive tires are shockingly poor in the wet. Straight pipe exhausts. When American vehicles were choked with emissions, lopping off half the exhaust for better flow and a nicer sound was rather commonplace, if slightly illegal. I don't see people doing this to brand new pickups yet, but as five-year-old F-150s and Dodge Rams fall to younger generations, the hacksaws come out and the mufflers go bye bye Often such backyard modifications reduce horsepower and fuel economy on modern pickups. Rolling coal. Believe it or not, there are many diesel pickup owners tweaking their trucks specifically to roll coal. In essence, they're mucking with the air fuel mixture, thus creating all kinds of soot and smoke out of the exhaust under hard throttle. The reason why this is stupid is because such modifications generally reduce fuel economy, create excess carbon in the valve train, and deliver soot straight into the engine oil. All to put on a little smoke show that nobody else finds amusing. Hey diesel owners, if you want to show other drivers just how much smoke your truck can make, spin the tires like normal people. Your engine, and possibly some impressed bystanders, will thank you. Don't forget to click the link above or go to getabstoday.com now to claim your free gift when you try out Six Pack Shortcuts. Yay! Cop rolls new Android up now! <laughs> I mean, the old R8 was a quick thing, no doubt about it. But this is just on a whole nother level. It's not just the extra power, it's the way it's delivered. The whole top end is, you get this sort of surge, you pin back in your seat and everything outside goes very, very blurry. Yeah.